this is going to be another barn vlog and I haven't done like an actual barn vlog in a while I feel like but I wanted to do one today I am planning on riding as long as Tipsy kept her hoof boots on because sometimes she does tend to take them off but I think we should be okay knock on wood but she's been pretty good with keeping them on lately and I'd like to ride her I will probably do walk trot and maybe some canter we'll see and I think I might ride her in the indoor so I'm not entirely sure how good the clips will be I'm gonna try to use my pivo but I might have to use my camera because sometimes my pivo sucks in there but we will see. I just want to get my butt moving more with her and try to just ride her more often. And she's a very good girl when I do ride her for the most part. She has her baby moments, but I just want to be more consistent with her. Sometimes it's just been hard to have motivation, but today I'm forcing myself to go to the barn. Not that it's like a chore to go to the barn. It's more just a chore to like get tacked up and then get on. And then once I'm done, I feel great. But sometimes just having the motivation is hard to get there. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to head to the barn. Of course, she's at the way bottom here, but it looks like she's hanging out with some friends. Hi, pretty lady. Are the flies bothering you? Hi. Unfortunately, we're pawing, but I just put her on the cross ties. She will usually settle down a little bit, but sometimes she does get a little bit stressy and wiggly, especially if no one's in the barn, which is why she's doing her little chewing behavior right now. But I'm gonna groom her and tack her up, and then we're gonna get ready to ride. Starting to get her tacked up. She's currently wearing Sassy's old saddle with an ECP pad with some shims in the front and she's slowly getting over being girthy. She's had her back checked, her withers checked, she's gotten her Cairo and massage and she's also gotten treated for ulcers multiple times. So right now I think it is a behavior thing and we're working through it but she is getting a little better. If you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go Thank you. 
walked her around a little bit probably only rode her for like 20 minutes maybe a little longer but she started to get a little out of breath because i know we're both out of shape but she was perfect she was so good so relaxed started to stretch down i worked at close to the buckle not quite on the buckle but she was awesome i'm a little out of breath myself but we're going to continue walking around on foot and then i think i'm going to hose her off and then turn her out with her buddies Sorry for not videoing it, but I did give her a nice liniment bath because she was a bit tired, so I think it would help her muscles. And she wants to go out, so she's pawing. That's a habit we need to break, but she does it kind of to soothe her being stressed out, but whatever, I will work on it. So since she got her bath, I'm gonna go turn her out with her friends and then she will have a good rest of the night. I just gave her her treat and put her fly mask on to put her out, but she keeps following me. Hi, I gotta go to your friends. What are you doing? You gonna hang out with mom? Hi. Bye, Tipsy. I thought she'd move a bit quicker than that, but I guess she's tired. Just kidding, we're spicy. I just missed a big buck, but I think they're gonna run around a little bit. 